Hello there, this is a short introduction to the movement, a new political movement, not a political party, which is a major distinction that you should consider. Now, within the next few minutes, I'd like to uh, explain some of the aspirations, some of the ideology, and some of the ethics behind the movement. But first of all, I'd like to consider asking you to do the following thing. One is to join us with what's called a program of creative dissent. Secondly, to stop doing what you think you should be doing. Thirdly, to join a movement which has uh, esoteric knowledge, power, wisdom, and a strong lineage of meaningful and effective change over time. And fourthly, as a result of that, give you the ability to retake your country. Retake your country from whom or what? Well, principally from the regime that exists here behind these gates at number 10 Downing Street. Now, who are the people who are joining Green Movement and where are they from? Well, it's a global initiative and it's a global movement. Many people are joining from all far corners of the world, but the main principle behind their, their uh, ideology is that they are fed up of statutory incursions into their daily lives where every single thing from the way that they can breathe their air, from the way that they can park their car and educate their children is controlled by statutory instruments which are in effect put together by a cabinet office here which sits two to three times a week, which is a small coterie of white shoe boys running and operating a Stalinist gulag in the name of democracy. So in effect what I would say to you is that democracy, the illusion of democracy, is as dead as disco. It doesn't exist anymore. What you're operating behind or under the influence of is an elective dictatorship. This elective dictatorship is a coterie of 13 individuals, as I say, the white shoe boys that sit in here and make policy decisions which are in turn not their decisions, but given to them by what's called the Mandarins of Whitehall and the, uh, the, the Zionist Rothschild, Rothschild controlled banking cartels of the world. So, if you want change on this, if you want to make a change to the 500 years of precedent that has brought nothing but war, tyranny, poverty, disease and lack to you in the name of the best democracy of the world, then I'd suggest kindly that you do something about it. Now, what we also then have to look at is who is actually running the world these days. It's in effect the corporations. The large corporations of the world control everything. The largest corporation on the block is Westminster Parliament PLC, which the CEO of sits here at number 10 Downing Street and is in effect the person that hands out all the golden bones to those small privateer corporations and interests that want to monetize the world. And in effect, this is what's happened. You are completely and totally monetized. From the air you breathe, to when you park your car, to where you educate your child, to where you pay your taxes, everything is completely monetized. There is no necessity for this. So, what we would like then to ask you to consider is if you want to unleash yourself from these, these shackles of monetized interest, if you want to release yourself from the control, it is nothing more than the mafia in suits. If you want to rid yourself from this elected dictatorship, if you want to remove yourself from this Britain's got no talent X factor, they'll tell you any bullshit you want to believe, lunatic asylum in which you're living, then I would suggest you come on board and you join Green Movement. If you're therefore fed up with statutory incursion into your daily life, if you're fed up with the austerity measures, which is more, more and more for these people behind you and less and less for you, if you're fed up with a 60-hour working week you still won't provide enough for you and your family with zero hours contract, then what I would suggest is join Green Movement now. Join Green Movement now. Place your mark upon our sign-in board. Join with us. Wear the, sig uh, the insignia. Wear the bind room. Wear the street wear and the street paraphernalia. And together we will make an identification. We will make a movement that is strong enough to change this country, retake it, and bring some democracy back into the asylum. So thank you. Don't forget to join.